Hello world and welcome to another episode of Launch Map. In today's video we are going to cover yesterday launch that was the registry and discovery of event schemas for event bridge. So I will show you an example and explain you a little bit about that launch. If you are interested in watching more content about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. So again with this lovely face, no makeup, because one video a day, I cannot, I cannot produce so much for that. <laughs> I'm still in Vegas in my hotel room and I wanted to talk today about the launch that happened yesterday in Midnight Madness. The launch, at least for me, it was the uh, biggest launch for from that uh, from yesterday. Sure, if you use other services, others might have been a great launches, but I'm a fan of Event Rich, so for me this was really cool. This was the discovery and um, registry of event. Uh, schemas for a brand bridge. So let's look a little bit about what this means. The first thing I want to clarify that in this video I will not cover what event bridge is. I already made a whole video on that so that is in the description box so you can go and check it out. So the first question you might have is what is a schema? So an event usually comes with a kind of a format and the format uh, in this case we call it the schema. Events in uh, AWS tend to be JSON, so this uh, JSON have a specific format and all the events might come with the same format if they are coming from the same event creator. So we can have an event that has the, I don't know if it was an e-commerce application, might have an event that puts the product ID, the description, who bought it, and things like that. So it's kind of a definition for, for the event. EventBridge is a great tool for decoupling services. So you might have uh, your lambdas and another team might be having their lambdas and you connect them using EventBridge. Internally, you're using the same AWS uh, account or different accounts for internally in your company. And sometimes discovering the events that others are making is kind of challenging because you before this launch you need to know the format in order to use the events or then start digging into what you are getting as your event source if for example you're calling a lambda but sometimes you are not calling a lambda and you might need to know what is inside that event so i think this launch is very powerful because this will enable you to uh, trigger a discovery feature in your existing buses and analyze what in all the rules what is going on which events are coming in, discover the format for those events, and then later you can use them in your applications. So I mentioned that there were like two features in the in this launch, the schema registry and the schema discovery. First, the schema registry will be like a place where a centralized place where you can find all the schema definitions. So you can find the schema definitions for the AWS events. So the functions, what Lambda sends, what SQL, SQS sends, what SNS sends, what all these things, uh, what kind of format they are sending. And then you can find your uh, custom events and you can find like from providers and things like that. So everything will be there. And as well, you can find the events that were discovered. So that brings us to the other part of the launch that was the discovery capability. And that's something you will enable in a specific event bus and you will enable the capability of start discovering and that will start listening on the, on the event bus. In general, this is something that you do in your development bus because you want to, you need the format of the events to use later on in your application. So this is something that you might enable for a while to try to understand what are the, the formats of the events that you are getting in so then you can use it in your application. So when you enable this capability, then the bridge, uh, then the event bus will uh, gather all these uh, event types, and you can find the discover event types in the registry. And then when you're in the registry, you can download the event, so you can have it in your application as a JSON, or then if you're using Python, TypeScript, or Java 
you can get the code bindings for using that event in your application. So that's something you can get from the schema registry. So now let's go to the code and see an example of this uh, working. Um, as always, the code is in the GitHub repo, so go and check it out there. Well, let's get to it. I want to start this video with a simple app. This will be available in GitHub, so you don't need to worry. So this simple app has an API gateway, a function that is triggered by the API gateway, another function that is not triggered by anything yet, and then we have an event uh, bridge rule with the source and size by. So this is a custom, um, a custom rule. I have shown how to create this in another video, so I will not go into the details on how I created this project. I will leave you the link on the description box so you can go and check it out. Basically, the function hello in their code will put we can see here the um, here it will put an event to event reach so you can see it says by and it has a date so this is the detail the and the source is saved by so this will put the event in event reach and then this will trigger the by function using event bridge because here we have the rule that it says that when we receive this uh, say by we will target the function so this by function it's a simple function that doesn't do anything basically print something in the console and then we have the permissions to be able to invoke that function from the event rules so this is super simple if you want me to get into the details on how to build this with some, I can do another video. I have done it for several less framework, but it's, it's the same. So I will deploy this and then we can see the registry and the discovery. So this deploys everything. I don't think I have done any changes since I last time deployed, but it's good to, to try to deploy. Nothing was updated. Good. So now I will go to my console and then in the side I can go to rules and I can see here that I have the rule that I just deployed. Good. Now if we want to discover the events that are coming through this rule what we can do is to go to event buses and here you have this new functionality that says stars discovery. So I will enable it and now all the events that will come through this bus will appear in our schema. So let's try this out. Let's call this endpoint. Now it kind of called. Now it's called. And now we can go to the schemas. And in the schema registry here, you can see the schemas that were discovered. So you have all the schemas, the event registry for AWS events. So you can search here for step functions, for example. And you can see what is the event. And here you can see the discover schema registry. So here is my, my schema. So here you can see everything that event bridge has discovered from this event. So basically this was had a name and a date. So if we look somewhere here, we will be able to see that. So here you can see saying by is an object type. It has the required date and name, and the properties are the date is a format date time, and the name is a type string. So that's the uh, format that this uh, event requires. So now with that, then uh, either we can download the schema and use it. It's a JSON, so we can open it here. And we have exactly that same information. Or then if we are using some a uh, language that has a strongly type, we can download the code binding so we can use that in our application. So it's a zip file, you open it and then here you can find the schema. So this is the type for my 
my element and I could use that uh, in my code if I was using TypeScript or Java or Python but I'm not so this is a uh, quite interesting uh, launch and more if you're using something that is not like AWS events that you're using some um, partners or custom rules then you will be able to to discover the, the events and use them in your code without the need to guess what is going on. So I think this is a very powerful launch. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. I think it's really great launch and tomorrow we will be again with another launch on launch month. So stay tuned for the third video in the series. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye.